Hello and welcome to It's Pouring Paint. How is everybody? I hope you're all doing well in these times. I know it can be uh, a little tricky. Um, we've been doing a lot of cleaning. Came around with an old, um, an old lamp. And I have this kind of paper fabric lampshade. And I'm like, well, why not? I'm going to do a pour on it, and I think that I should, just because. I'm going to do a dirty pour on this one because I'm unsure what to expect, and uh, I just kind of want to um, want to do something a little different. So let's see how it does. So I'm just going to pour the paint right now. I don't know how much to do, how much paint this is going to take. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if it's going to look good. I really just don't know anything. I'm just going to try. Why? Because I had it and I thought to myself, you know what? Let's do this. So I'm using some blues, some golds, and brown. The brown is a um, Van Dyke brown, I believe. And uh, it's a nice brown. Um, probably the golds and the other blues I find are probably nicer, but I wanted some browns in because this is going to go into my, um, my new room that I showed you in one of my other videos. So I'm just going to pour all of it out. You know why? And these are old paints. I'm still trying to get rid of my old paints. Look at that one. It's sunk. Oh, well, don't care. So these paints have been around for a couple months because we were renovating our basement. And when we renovated our basement, my studio area became a, um, a place to put all the boxes. And I didn't, get to, uh, I didn't get to use my area. Look at that, the gold is just coming up to the top. I, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be enough, but I'm going to do it anyway. So there we go. So I'm going to do those and uh, see how that goes. I'm excited about this, guys, because to be honest, I've never, I, I wouldn't have even thought of this. So there's my liquid whatever. I've never thought of this before. So I'm just going to go actually right now and make sure that the camera is set up properly so you can watch me do this. All right, here we go. So, um, I didn't do anything on the inside here, like tape it or anything. Ah, who cares? All right. So I'm going to start by just trying to put the paint around the edges here. to watch it go down. Normally when you use a dirty pour, or not normally, but for the most part when you use a dirty pour, you are pouring uh, in a circular manner for the most part, trying to get some designs on it. Um, but as you can see, I can't really do a circular motion here. <laughs> I can only circle around the, uh, the lampshade. And... You know what, it's, it's been actually pretty good to be able to clean out all of the stuff that, um, that we've been hoarding. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's just been a bunch of hoarding. You know, move after move, things in boxes um, have just been... So we've been opening up the boxes so we can uh, know what's inside. So I'm just gonna keep going around like this. And this lamp came out and honestly, I just wanted to try it. I don't know how this is. I think I need more paint. <laughs> Luckily, I have some more paint. Now, you know what I'm noticing? Some of the, uh, some of the paper is bulging have no clue what it means in the long run guys but uh, I'm noticing that right now 
At least I get to clean out all this paint, which is super fantastic. There's nothing in here. Oh, there's a little bit in here. I don't know if you can even see me filling up again. One of my favorites is Peacock Pearl. It's good because it's going to get rid of the rest of it. Um, yeah, so let's keep trying. Trying to get it all covered. It's mostly just the bottom parts now I'm noticing. Yeah, the whole thing is puffing. All right. Well, that's what experiments are for, to see what's going to happen when you do something on them. <laughs> You're going to have to tell me what you think. I'm going to try to slowly go around here to make sure that this is all covered up here. Alright, so there I have done yet some more. Now I am noticing that I, like some of these, I'm just missing. It's not flowing all the way. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm just going to fill in some of this stuff because I, I think that that will be more suitable. Well, this is very interesting. I am not sure, guys, if this is going to be a success or not, to be quite honest. I haven't seen the other side, but I'll turn this side. And I don't know with the view of the camera if you will be able to see that uh, <laughs> some of it's bulged. Um, but you'll learn in a couple minutes if you can see it. Oh, my hair. Normally I have my hair done up to avoid paint. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna turn it and you can see this side now. Um, oh, yeah, I see some top up here did not get painted as well. So I'm just going to do that there. I don't know what you think so far. You're either saying this is going to be a fail, Cynthia, or eh, it looks all right. We'll see how it dries, right? I guess that's the important thing. But it has definitely lost its shape. That could be the paper. See, my daughter was like, Mom, you can't do it on that. It's like paper. And I was like, well, we're going to try. Because the fact of the matter is, is nobody used this freaking light for a long time. And I, so it doesn't matter to me if, uh, if it um, is ruined at the end of this. Which I think it might be. But that's okay. I don't mind. Okay. Well. I have gone ahead now and filled in all of the spots. Now my paintbrush has a completely blended uh, <laughs> color, so there's no multicolors in that. Wow, so interesting. So I'm gonna spin it, and as I spin it, you might see the bulging. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. I have ruined. I have ruined the thing. <laughs> All right. Well, it is what it is. So I'm gonna let it drip. I just might. Is there any gold left in here? I'm gonna let it. Well, drip a little bit. I'm gonna throw some more gold in here because I still got some. Why the heck not? All right. Well, there you have it. I don't know what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna turn off the camera now. I'm gonna let this sucker dry and then I'll come back to you and show you what happened. And let you know if it was a success or not. See you soon. Okay, so it has been dried now, 
And as you can tell, I most certainly <laughs> ruined the shade. Well, you live and learn, right? Now, so see, this is what I was thinking. This side right here, right there, see if you just look at it like that, looks good. Hold on, I'm going to go get the uh, lampshade, or the lamp base. <laughs> there it is on the lamp base. Isn't it, I don't even know what to call it, interesting? So anyways, I was thinking if I only have this one little spot showing for the most part, it will be okay. Hold on, let's go plug it in. Okay, so here it is plugged in. Well, <laughs> it really kind of looks neat this way, I, I have to say. That looks kind of cool. I really, really wish I hadn't, like, it hadn't lost the, uh, the shape. You know what, though? Honestly, I'm keeping it here. And I can't wait. I wonder if people say anything to me. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. You have a wonderful day. Be kind to you yourself. Be kind to others, and we will see you next time.